My computer totally so sideways. Your camera must be on an angle. I don't know. Hi everyone. I'm Katie Kemper. This is our fabric reveal for today, November 14th. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see that uh, there's a delay. I'm, I'm in slow motion. Are you? Yeah, which means I'm pretty sure I'm in slow motion on the video too. I'll tell you. Which is, I'm sure, aggravating. So we have, um, I think, 24 new fabrics today. And we're going to talk about uh, stuff that's going on next week. Some things that are going on next week. And uh, we're all of us here getting ready for Christmas. I know it's not Thanksgiving yet, but there's less than four weeks between Christmas and Thanksgiving this year. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta get ready. <laughs> so of course we're making a lot of our Christmas presents. So that's exciting. It's always fun. So let's see. Well, we have, we have a handful of people. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about um, our blog tour next week. Now, a lot of you are familiar with the, I can make it blog tour that we're doing. But I don't know that we've talked a lot about the prizes that we're giving away and the fact that we are giving away prizes. So I'm going to make my little graphic bigger. These aren't all of them. We're still getting uh, sponsors trickling in. But these are some of our sponsors that we will have giveaways for. A lot of them are um, pattern giveaways or uh, credits to their shops. And um, we have over 20 of them right now, um, so they're still they're still coming on. So we'll have those giveaways during the three days of the blog tour. The blog tour is November 19th through the 21st, it's three days, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we're hosting it on the Sly Fox Fabrics website. And it is the uh, the remakes of the items that were submitted. We had a giveaway where we asked people to submit items where they'd like to see them remade, inspirational pictures. We had over a thousand pictures submitted. And then from those pictures, we picked out, uh, I think it was about 38 um, different pictures that the bloggers picked out of things that they were willing to remake. And then those were voted on by the group. And then there are, let's see, I think there's nine items um, that were the top nine that were voted on and picked by, uh, by the bloggers. So they're busy right now remaking those, recreating those looks. It was a lot of fun watching them pick out, um, find the patterns that they needed and choose the fabrics that they needed to, to remake those items. So that's what the blog tour is. One day it will be Chris Shapiro, one day it will be Katie Grimm, and the next day it will be Jakafa Robinson in some sort of order. I don't know exactly who's what day, but um, that's how it'll be. And then we are doing, uh, we'll be doing a raffle copter during the blog tour. So if you sign up for the raffle copter, you can win prizes from the sponsors I just showed you. And then we will have prizes as follows. And this is where it gets really, really fun. Let me take down that. Um, so on day one, we'll give away our third prize, which is going to be this Singer Heavy Duty, what is that, a 4452 sewing machine? Um, that'll be the first day prize, or the third prize. The next prize, the second prize, the following day will be a Brother 1034D Serger. And I know this is a really popular model among the sewing community. Um, people love their Brother Sergers and swear by them. The grand prize on day three is going to be, and I know this is probably a little bit, I can't even read it myself, a little bit small. <laughs> I was throwing it together before I got on, that's why I was late. Um, this is the the grand prize on day three. It will be the silhouette the silhouette cameo three um, with Bluetooth starter bundle, and we are also going to get the silhouette kit tool to throw in with it. Um, I forgot to block out the price on that, but I didn't think it was a big deal. But yeah, so how exciting is that? So the 
Heavy Duty Singer Sewing Machine, um, The Brother, and then the Cricut Cameo 3. So big prizes. There's going to be um, probably 10 winners every day, maybe even more. Uh, and then one of the things I don't think we talked about was that we're going to give the person who submitted the look uh, that is being that was chosen to, to be voted on to be recreated will receive the pattern and fabric to remake that look themselves the pattern that the blogger used for free plus fabric from us for free so they can remake that look too so that'll be a lot of fun too so lots and lots of fun stuff happening next week you don't want to miss it we'll be sending out emails we'll be talking about it in the group um, and anywhere else I can possibly talk about it, I'll, I'll talk about it. So, okay, we'll get on with our, our fabric reveal. Let's see what we have here. So today we're going to split the booty. We're going to have two winners. One winner will win 12 fabrics. The other winner will win the other 12 fabrics. And I'll decide who gets what because I'm like that. <laughs> You're so controlling. I know. So, um, so all you have to do to enter to win the, the reveal booty is comment on this video. Comment as many times as you like. Each comment is an entry. And about four o'clock tomorrow, I'll sit down and pick the winners. So you have all the way until four. So if you miss us live, don't worry. You can comment anytime. And um, that's how we'll do it. Now, I just threw these in here. I don't even know what order they're in. So I might have to dig a little bit to get them out. Usually I, I'm a little more uh, organized than that. Let me, let me fix my screen here real quick. Just bear with me. Okay. So this first one is Space Dye French Terry. And it actually came in the other just, I think, yesterday or the day before. Day before yesterday. Day before yesterday. And because it's so Christmassy, we decided to make sure that we threw it in. Because this will be our last reveal um, this month we'll have an, our next reveal will be the beginning of December but for this month because we have so much going on next week and then Thanksgiving being the week after um, there won't be reveals so okay so this is the French Terry it's space dye in vintage red it's super soft I love this stuff I actually already stole some and I'm gonna make myself something out of it because that's how I am this is the back side is really cool looking too. Um, so you can, I was thinking of making another, one of those adult classic hoodies by Peekaboo because I love that pattern and turning the cuffs um, so they would be the red and leaving the inside of my hoodie hood so it'll be would you the make red. Band red too, you think? I'm not sure. I've, I'm going to lay it out and see what I think. It's cute. Um, so so this is really nice and soft and what can I say what more okay so I'll show you the the brush poly coordinates so these are complementary they're not exact matches I just thought they looked nice the light pink looks really nice with it because it is a soft a soft red so the light pink goes and I felt like the maroon brought out the red and what's complementary look good yeah, and it looks good with the back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks good with the back. So that's your vintage red space dye French terry. I'll be nice to you today. I'll throw them beside you. We have a new solid. Now, this solid I got in, none of my suppliers that I get solid red double brush poly from had, um, had it in stock. Actually, because I'm out of order. Let me find it and throw it up here. There it is. Uh, so they want to know if it's redder or pinker. It's both. It's both. It's like, uh, I think I, I see red in it. I see more red than I do pink. When I photographed it, it showed up in the photographs more pink. Um, but that's why I, we called it vintage red, because it is more, it's more red. Yeah, and especially when you look at it against the back. Yeah, the, the back is, is real red. Yeah. But it's a, it, I called it in the description a soft red. 
I felt like that was a good way to describe it, soft red. Um, so anyways, back to this brush poly. It's hot orange. I was looking for a red because we usually carry red and lipstick red and lipstick red is um, darker. Red is more, it's just a, a red, middle of the road red. This was called tomato red by the supplier. Oh. So I thought, well, it might be close because nobody had the colors that I usually get in that are red, but it's not, it's hot orange, which is fine because I know it's not really the season. Oh over here <laughs> just like oh somebody moved it yeah it was me <laughs> okay this is our hot orange french cherry they match perfectly and so hot orange it is hot orange and hot orange or heather orange um baby french cherry looks great with this and so does light peach baby oh, wow. french cherry yeah they do all so i put those well. in as coordinates you know complementary coordinates for this so that's our or hot orange double brush poly. That's gonna match. Oh, I do need it. It's gonna match something later. It coordinates with one of one of today's fabrics. Oh, it does. You better I check wonder. that. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we already have our. Um, We already have our fabrics in for the next reveal yeah. in December, so. I keep doing this to myself. Oh, here it is, okay. Uh, this is Risqué in red sweater knit. Now we had this, in, we had this in brush poly last year. We could not get it this colorway in the sweater knit, but we had it in brush poly and then we had other colorways in the sweater knit. So this is the first time that we've, technically had this colorway in sweater knit. And this was a really popular, the brush poly sold out last year pretty quickly. It's so beautiful. So it's the, so Christmassy, it's it, so red and green. The inside of these roses uh, is purple, which I think is really cool. Let's see if you can see that. It's really pretty. So all the red pretty. hat ladies, do they do that yeah, anymore? Yeah, I don't know, but it's perfect for red hat ladies. It's the perfect uh, red and purple. Um, so, and this sweater knit, it's a light sweater knit. It's really soft, really soft and delicious. I'm not sure if it's brushed or not. It feels brushed. The description from the supplier does not say it's brushed. So soft. But it it's super soft. Um, so let me find it on my list here and I'll tell you what the coordinates are. So it's almond because it's not ivory. This background light color is actually almond. And Cabernet. That goes with so the darker pretty. colors yeah. in it. Pulls out that purple in the mm -hmm. roses. And of course, jet black. Looks like I didn't put all my things out this over here. Of course black because there's black in there. And lipstick red. Somebody said she needs to make mom a sweater out of that. I'm making your mom a sweater out of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this will look really good on you. Yeah. It'll go with your hair really nice. You already stole some? Mm -hmm. I, I went stole some. I went shopping yesterday in the <laughs> shop stealing all kinds of stuff. Uh, lipstick red, maroon is here. Nice dark red. So there's so many different reds in here. And olive and cognac. Olive and cognac are big pieces. They haven't gotten on the cards. I wouldn't have thought of the cognac, but I bet that looks great. I love the olive. Now yeah. that is kind of Christmassy yeah. look in my opinion. And then the cognac. I, I didn't even notice the gold till you said that. Yeah, in the animal print. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty, and it's uh, nice with the red, too. Mm -hmm. So that's Risqué Sweater Knit. I'm going to have static hair. It's going to be flying all over the place pretty soon. Okay, so let me find what I have in here. Here it is. 
So we have a black and red plaid. This one came in on Monday too and we grabbed it and said we got to get this out there. It's so nice and Christmassy looking. So the, the camera freaks out a little bit because of how red the colors are. So I'm going to hold it up close for you. So something that's interesting in here, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but there's a magenta type color that pops up inside the square. Can you see that? I think it's an optical little blue. It's not. Mary Beth thinks it's <laughs> optical. It's not. It's definitely a color that's laid down in there. And it's just like a little surprise, I'm here. So the coordinate for this is black. Because <laughs> none of the reds match it. So black is your coordinate. And I know that you guys are going to think I'm crazy. This is a single brush poly. It feels double brushed. But the supplier that we got it from only supplies single brushed. It's just that it's such a soft base that it feels brushed on mm -hmm. both sides but it is a single brushed yeah that back is not silky like it usually yeah is. it's just super soft um just gonna look and see on my notes you should see my notes today they're terrible look at this who can read that <laughs> not you. i can't read it i mean look, that one's blank but yeah I can't read it. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, remember when you submitted names for me when it, when we had the naming contest? Well, I was, didn't think that through very well. I should have had you guys put the names into a Google Doc. Um, so I, when I tried to pull out the 3,000 answers that I had, I only got about 400 names. You were going to have the purple. Oh. And there's more eyes. <laughs> I thought you were showing me something. Yeah. But I used a bunch of them today. Or, I mean, on the fabrics, I used um, I used several names. So I'll, I'll let you know on the names that I used uh, if they were provided by, I think almost all of them were provided by you guys. So I thank you very much. It was, it was really fun looking for names uh, on that list. So... Oh, I was looking for the stretch on that plaid for you because sometimes with the single brushes, they don't have as much stretch, but I think that one was nice and stretchy. No, I didn't write it down. Of course. So nice and stretchy it is. So the next one is Calypso. This one is uh, one of your names. Somebody provided this, and I'm sorry, but I don't know who because when I tried to pull it out, it would not let me keep the um, the original poster with it. So Calypso, and this is a uh, double brush poly, and this is a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun colors in here. That's a great name for that one. Yeah, I thought it was really fitting. Isn't that Fun. Now, I thought that we had had this print before. It just looks so familiar really to me, does. but I, I couldn't find it in our um, in our library of products. But it, I think it just looks like something else. I thought it was that. Uh, remember that Ranchelli we had that had the ivory background and purple flowers on it, mm -hmm. and we called it Pacey Park or something mm -hmm. like that. That's what I thought it was, but it wasn't. Okay, this is 100 horizontal and 50 vertical. Okay, so the single brush was 100 horizontal, 50 vertical stretch. So you could do leggings with that. Yeah, I'm going to make some. You're going to make some leggings mm -hmm. with that? Be cute with some black boots and a black sweater. In the <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so cozy. Of course, black matches. Black is black. Not like navy. Navy's 100 different colors, right. but usually black is black. Um, mustard gold yeah, just all those gold oh, yeah. colors in there I have maroon as a complementary coordinate so it means that it's not exact color match but it looks nice with it the same for almond a complementary coordinate there's these lighter colors in here and pomegranate 
all over here. A nice pretty complimenter you can see right here there's some like rusty red in there that looks really nice with the pomegranate did you open that door for a reason yeah because it was locked and Betsy didn't get in oh okay just wonder I'll throw it at you now you said you were going to be nice I'm not going to be nice because doors open I'm distracted now did you need this for this no I did not um our next one is called Destiny. That is also a group member supplied name. And I thought it was perfect for this. Kind of in love with this fabric. Trying to figure out what I would make out of it, what it should be, but it kind of looks a little bit like a couch pillow and I I don't know I just like it <laughs> I don't know it looks like a wrap dress to me oh yeah it, it would be a really dress. cute wrap dress it would I just think it's so pretty I love the colors in it um, so this one of course again with the jet black of course it matches and I love this coordinate but the light olive matches. <laughs> uh, isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. It matches perfectly. Yeah. There's all these olives in there. You don't even notice them until you put that yeah. up against it. Yeah. And then I have mustard gold as a coordinate, but it's complementary because this uh, gold in here is a little bit brighter, but they do look nice together and they do. It does. It looks good. Trust me. So that's Destiny. And that's another one that's 100 uh, horizontal, 50 vertical. In the Calypso I just showed you, 75 horizontal, 50 vertical. Our next fabric is Ravish. Now we had Ravish in uh, charcoal black before. I think that's the only other colorway that we've had it in. But the print is just amazing. It's a double brush poly. I love that. Oh, I think so I might have taken some of that. Too. Beautiful. And I'm going to tell you right now, when I was putting this into inventory last night, I noticed that we got a small roll it's of it. Really it's really small. small. And I was going to go steal some. And I thought, I just can't take this from you Aww, guys like I that. <laughs> So, um, so the background is a burgundy color. We've got a few burgundies today, but it's like a, it's almost like a, it's not a super deep burgundy. So I had initially called it maroon and then I went, mm, well, it's burgundy. So, but it's kind of maroonish burgundy. It's, it's almost a washed out burgundy kind of. I mean, you know, yeah, so it's a, like a softer burgundy. Yeah. Thank you, that's better. Um, this one, I'm telling you the stretches because I have them written down, so it's easy to do that today. It's 100 horizontal, 50 vertical. And so our, all of these will work for leggings. Mm -hmm. So use. far, yeah. So far. So this one goes great with almond. Has this. This color in here in the flowers is not white or ivory, it is almond. Also, mustard gold is complementary because there's this gold flower, this goldy orangey flower in here, and it, it looks nice with it. Also, cognac I have as a complementary. <laughs> Your top matches it pretty well, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, I don't think this is our tea. No, ours is a little bit more blue. This is a top Mary Beth made me like three years ago. Oh, did Love I? this top, yeah. Um, so that's the cognac, which is Ooh, that was just cool with gorgeous with this flower right here. And I just I think it's so pretty. Also, the pomegranate. Mm -hmm. These pretty reds in here, and this, again, this fiery 
flower over here. So those are your coordinates for Ravish. <laughs> That's right here. You look like a magician. You guys want to see my desk? <laughs> you see the ridiculousness that's going on over here? I got piles of stuff. And so this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm, I look like a crazy person every week. Between my notes and my piles. See how very disorganized I am. Okay, so... Ravish and Risqué were names that we already had, but this next one was also a member suggested name, a group member, and we're calling it Mandarin Moon. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Great Such a pretty name. So we have two colorways in this print, and this one is the, um, what I say here? Oops, let me get my picture up. This is Burgundy. So this is Mandarin Moon Burgundy. And I had the hardest time with the picture on the mannequin of this because it just was not, I didn't feel like it was reflecting the colors very well. So I did have to play with it quite a bit. But I see that colors are showing up pretty well on the screen. Yeah, they are. But I was really, really having to mess with it quite a bit yesterday because the, the pictures on the mannequin weren't, uh, they were too I don't know, too light, not saturated enough, something like that. But normally, I don't like these types of prints with the outlines and stuff, but I love this I, one. I do, too. I love the outline. If those flowers weren't outlined like that, it wouldn't be anywhere near as pretty. No, it's just so beautiful. It's very fiery mm -hmm. looking. So I thought it was beautiful, and I love the name. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the names, everybody. So this is Mandarin Moon in Burgundy, and this one has a hundred horizontal 50% vertical stretch and your coordinates are um, what's that called again? Almond. Almond. <laughs> uh, get in my right column here. Coral. Mm. That Isn't that good. pretty? Yeah. and I You would not it. think to put those mm -hmm. together. Not with a maroon background. Mm -mm. But, boy, is it pretty but it just pops. Yeah, it's pretty. Coral. And, of course, because of the outlining and the black in here, you can you can put black with it. Mm -hmm. um, maroon is a, I have that down as a complementary coordinate. Because it, it picks up a lot of different tones in here. And it looks good with the background color. Oh, the hot orange. Hey, <laughs> she tried to whip it at my face because she couldn't do it. So I have the hot orange down. Do I have it down as a complimentary? No, I have it down as a match. What's going on here? So I have this down as a coordinate. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's some orange flowers in here. There you go, that bit leaf right by your hand. This one? Yeah, oops. Anyways, it matches, it's a pop of color. It's fun. It's fun. So fun. Do That's really soft. Again? I think that that might be, nope, I'll need it back again for the next one. I guess so. Uh, the pomegranate. This is why this is why I switched to cards because you can see what a mess I'm making of this whole thing. I can't even can't seem to get it right. Here, let's do this. It's, somebody says you're extra sassy today. <laughs> I am a little sassy. You know why? I'll tell you why I'm extra sassy. Because we. Um, oh, I don't want that. Oh no! Give that back to me. Because <laughs> we were naughty this morning and we went to Joanne's. We went shopping because we because I need a sewing machine. My sewing machine that I've had forever and hardly used um, just gives me fits all the time. It's such a pain in the butt. And I need a new one. So they had sewing machines on sale. So we ran up to this cognac. We ran up to Joann's. <laughs> and um, 
they didn't have uh, <laughs> they didn't have the sewing machine in the ad. They said we don't sell those here, so that was fun. But anyways, we found another Joanne's that had them. But I I was I was able to play Santa Claus this morning and I got some stuff to make some stuff that I can't talk about. <laughs> Oh, that's right. People will know. People will know. People are watching in your family. But I'm really excited because um, last year was the first year I did this. I made something for everybody, and I'm not a crafter. I don't. I don't do stuff like that. Don't tell. Don't tell. But I'm not much for crafting, and um, I actually switched out of home ec class in high school into a study hall when they said we're gonna sew and we're gonna do this and I went no I'm not gonna do that so, <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm coming from but I'm really I really enjoy making clothing and so last year I made something for everybody in the family which was a lot of stuff and I had so much fun doing it and everybody was so gracious and enjoyed it as, as much as I did so I want to do it again this year so I was picking stuff out um, so I'm, I'm sassy. I'm excited and sassy. I'm going to get to work. All right, this is Mandarin Moon in Hunter Green. And I think it's looking more blue on the screen. And it's also coming up a lot darker in the picture than it is. It's, it is definitely more green than it is blue. So I'll show you that maybe as I pull the colors out for the coordinates, it will help balance it out a little bit Oops. all right so again with the uh, almond the almond looks really nice with it and then the evergreen solid I have down as a wow, that matches that background I know well. it's so it's so close to the background it's about a half tick lighter and it's Oh, it's so close. I, I put it as complimentary. I feel that it matches well enough to not be down as a complimentary color. However, I understand that other people might be able to see color a little bit better than me. So, and might see it as not an exact, exact match because it is a hair lighter. So I wanted to just let people know that, well, I think it's a match. It's just a hair lighter. So that's the evergreen um, solid, of course, uh, jet black because there is everything's lined in black in here. The images are mustard gold. I have this down as complimentary because it also is just a little bit deeper of a gold color, but it pulls out these nice um, golden hues in here and it's really pretty with the evergreen hunter green background. So that's down as complimentary. I have the hot orange as um, complimentary. It's a good thing you don't hit me in the face with this because I have, um, I have what's that called? Lip gloss on oh. be all over it. So you can see how fun this is with these orange flowers in here. Boy, it really makes it pop, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Oh, here's a cute one. Look at that little flower right there. So there we go. So you can see that that's pretty together. Last time for that. I don't know. Maybe I should just keep it. <laughs> and then I do have cognac down. Oh, so pretty. These are so pretty together. The fun thing about this one is it has these warm tones and it has some really poppy cool tones in it. So it's it's neat. It's good for everybody. Does pomegranate match that somebody wants to know? I, I don't think, think so. so. I would have put it down. I don't have it down as a match for this. This is pomegranate. No. I don't think it matches. Is coral? Uh, Isn't that right there? I think so. Hunter green. It's, well, Look at that great big flower right by your chin. Rather chin. This one is what you're talking about, right? Yeah. This is coral. From here it looks like it matches to me. Yeah, you know what? It does match. I wonder why I didn't... Maybe you were in different light candidates. 
you know, I wonder if I, I had put it down as, I'm not sure that, well, coral matches. I'll have to put coral in there as a match because it does match. Um, and that was it for this one. This one is 125 horizontal stretch and 50% vertical stretch. And if you've never used a uh, double brush poly before, it is, it's usually about 95% poly, 5% span, somewhere in there. And um, polyester has great recovery if you're new to these kind of knits. So when I say it has 125% stretch, it recovers really well, it keeps its shape. And that's one of the reasons why it's so great for leggings. The flyaways. What is next? Oh yes, so the next one is called Paisley Surrender. And Surrender is a name that was provided by the group. I, I put Paisley on there because it's more descriptive. It's Paisley Surrender. And this is um, double brush poly. It's a black background. It's very different and it's a lot of fun. It's different from our usual um, florals. Of course, black matches it. Let me find my list here. Oh, here it is. The first one right here. Paisley. No, that's the other one. Here it is. Okay, so ivory, black, gold. Let me find my ivory. Ivory is the light color in here. And mustard gold is down as a match really pretty with it and cognac I have cognac as a complementary coordinate I think it looks really pretty with it I like the cognac with the black and the mm -hmm. ivory so pretty so it's wait a minute no cognac mustard gold jet black and ivory I have them all as coordinates I'm sorry I was looking at another thing on my list not as complimentary, but all as they coordinate. They do coordinate. Look at that pomegranate. It looks from here like it would match. Those inner guys. It does match those. Hmm. Yeah, How about that? Good. Pomegranate is also I'm coordinate. Good. You are getting good at that. Maybe I should have you do this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Somebody said it almost has an Asian vibe, like dragons. It's, that is exactly what it reminds me Mind of. Mind you, okay, here's what it reminds me of. I wasn't going to say this, but since somebody said that, it looks like koi fish in a pond if you're looking down on top of them. Yeah. It's like paisley. Oh, it does kind of look like koi, yeah. Like It's paisley koi fish. Okay, our next one. Now... This is the same print we had before, and I think the, the supplier said it was a different colorway, but when I looked at the one that we had in stock the last time, it really looks the same to me. But we'll release it as a new one. Animal print. You guys love double brush poly animal print. Now the last one was called gold. This one is called brown. And I think they're the same, Boy. but I don't know. For sure. I, I don't have a piece of the other one, but they sure look that sure well, familiar. Well, yeah, the we you know we saw the image or we still have yeah. the product online in our you know on the back end, and um, they really do look, especially the mannequin pictures look exactly the same. So I'm not going to say it is exactly the same because I do have a little shred of doubt because I don't have a piece to put next to it. But it's our animal print again, and it always sells out pretty quickly. Um, it's pretty good on you. You probably should make something out of it. Thanks. I do. I like it. I, I did uh -huh. think it went nicely with my hair. Now that you're old enough to be a cougar. Yeah, my kids always <laughs> make fun of me. They're like, you're getting old, Mom. It's like, you're all cougar now. I'm like, I don't think you understand what that means. Okay, so I like to put red with it. I just put this up as a complimentary match, as a suggestion, because I think it's so cool. This is lipstick red. I also like to put up uh, mustard gold. Even though it's not an exact match, it just really looks beautiful mm -hmm. with it. So that's a good complementary coordinate. 
and black. Looks great with it. And I have cognac down as a complimentary because it's not an exact match, but it looks it looks really good with it. Brings out those nice warm tones. So that's our animal print. This is 75 on the horizontal and about 30 on the vertical. Oh, it's so soft. I don't want to take it off. <laughs> okay, you can it feels so good. That. Our next one, I think, geez, I can't remember. I think somebody did put this name in. It's called Fire and Ice. And you're going to look at me and go, mm, I don't see it. But then I'll explain it to you. You were drinking in front of the fireplace, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. It's a good guess, but no. Oh, somebody said this would make good Peg Bundy leggings. Oh, it yeah. Would, totally. So this is, um, I've been eyeing this fabric for a while because I like it. And the dots... Uh, there's something about these dots that I like. And then I realized when I was sitting down to name it why I like them. And it was after I looked up. Sometimes I'll try and, and find what flower is familiar with, with the flowers on the print. To me, this looked like crocus. Is that what they are? Cro the winter flowers? Uh -huh, crocus? Come out in the spring first thing. So I looked up crocus. And yes, it does. These do look like crocus. But crocus is not exactly the prettiest name. <laughs> I'm sure you can all understand. But when I was looking it up online, I did find a reference that somebody, I don't know if it was a famous poet or novelist or whatever, said that he called them a different name, which meant fire. They look like oh. fire to him. And I was like, aha. The reason that I like this print so much is because the dots remind me of snowflakes on crocus like in January oh, okay. and I, that's why I named it fire and ice I know it's a long explanation <laughs> you're like man I still don't see it but that's why it takes her so long to name <laughs> but that's what we're calling it fire and ice so this is navy by the way it's hard to tell sometimes but this is navy um so our coordinate coordinates are ivory and mustard gold and cognac. So mustard gold matches the flowers in here. Isn't that pretty? I think it's really pretty. I'm surprised at how much I like this, this uh, design. And then cognac, it, I have it down as a complementary coordinate because the, let me bring you back in closer again. It's hard to see this. There's um, the leaves are lined in uh, that are are brown, and then they have um, ivory on them, like snow. Again, with the the ice reference, and the I felt that the cognac was a pretty complementary coordinate to the brown on the leaves and the warm colors inside the flowers. And I like it with the navy. Oh. What happened here? Did I never do that? Okay. And I like it with the navy background. I think it's pretty. Mm -hmm. So that's your fire and ice. I don't know if they have this in another colorway. I don't either. I'll look next time I, I order. This next one is called Patchwork Paisley. I think you're going to like it. It's fun. It's it's like fun and quirky and mauve seems to be a big color lately. It's got a lot of mauve and mm, purpley, pinky, fuchsia colors in here and stuff. And there's a lot going on. It's it's a lot of fun. I like it. Mary Beth picked this out. Yeah, she picked out like me. a lot of these. Actually, um, normally I pick stuff out and then show it to her, and she says, yes, I like that, or I don't really like that, and I go, I'm getting it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or she picks stuff out, and I go, I'm not getting that. 
<laughs> I'm so terrible. But she picked all this stuff, a lot of this stuff out. I mean, most of these prints you picked out. Except for the fire and ice. That one's on me. Okay, so for the, the patchwork paisley, and the fire and ice, by the way, was 100 horizontal, 50 vertical. Seems to be the popular numbers of the day. That's the same for this patchwork paisley, 100 horizontal, 50 vertical. And our coordinates are almond. This The color in here is not ivory, it's almond. Oh, I like that mm -hmm. one. It's really pretty. It makes the almond look pink. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. Because the almond does have a little hint of pink. And it's called almond, by the way, because the, it looks like the inside of an almond, not the outside. I think sometimes that can be confusing. Uh, Cabernet, I have down as a complementary match because it's this actual color is not in here, but it looks really pretty with the colors that are in here it does it's not exact but it's real close it just it's really pretty with it just trust me uh, dark raisin <laughs> that's a complimentary coordinate and that's it those three colors almond cabernet dark raisin Patchwork Paisley. And by the way, they like it. They do? Mm -hmm. They're just saying that to be nice to you. No, I, I think it's really pretty. Actually, I think it's cute. So it's the, it's the kind of thing where I go, no, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get that in because I don't think it's going to move. And then we get it in. I'm like, oh, I really like that. Our next one is Atlantis sweater knit. Now we have this um, print already in navy, so we got it in in burgundy. And this is that light sweater knit that's really soft and light. So you could make um, a top out of this and be pretty comfortable, I would say. Um, like you wouldn't get super hot. I know some women tend to be on the hotter side while other women tend to be on the cooler side. Um, so I, I think this is one of those that you could you could make it. It's a nice light it's sweater. It's almost like knit. the weight of a brush poly. Yeah, it's similar to the weight of a brush poly, but it's not papery thin or see through or anything like that. It's just it's just really a nice light weight. Let's see. I have to find this on my page here. What was it called again? Atlantis. <laughs> It's got like two coordinates. It's not like a. Why can't I find it? I just, I don't know. Why can't I find it? <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. So it's 75% horizontal uh, stretch, 50% vertical. And I have down ivory, maroon, and white. So these, this color in the background here. It's somewhere in between ivory and white. Oh, I don't like the way that the camera does that. It just makes those hot. Um, and then maroon matches the background. Pretty darn good. Yeah. Okay. So that is Atlantis and Burgundy, which, by the way, looks really cute with dark jeans. I'll put my dark jeans up here. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I like that a lot. And my Buster Brown shoes. There you go. What's our next one? Oh yeah, that's called Fancy Free. I'm pretty sure that that was a submitted name, Fancy Free. Yep, pretty sure. This is a double brush poly. It's burgundy. I think I picked this one out. I think so too. Which I don't normally pick out prints like this. Um, but something about it caught my eye. I think it's got little paisley, the little paisleys in it. And I liked the, uh, those smack of fiery roses in there. Yeah, Just that thought that was infusion. Yeah. That burgundy is really different. I thought it was a lot of fun. 
uncharacteristically because you know I'm a fun crusher. So, <laughs> Okay, so this one's called Fancy Free. It's 75% horizontal, 40% vertical stretch. It is super soft. I think this is the softest one today. It's super soft. Um, and this one coordinates with Cabernet. It's almost exactly the same yeah, as the background. Uh, I have lipstick red, really? Let's see. Oh, yeah, the flowers. Yeah. Lipstick red. I have magenta down as, oh, oh here it is, as a complementary coordinate. Oh, it's it's almost those flowers. Really, right really close to these flowers. And I know, I think we have like two yards of it left in stock. And I'm going to try and get it back in on my next solid order. We can do magenta uh, or fuchsia um, French cherry, right? No. Is that the same color? It's not. Oh, it's magenta. Sorry. sorry, you guys. Um, An olive. Because there is, looks good with the green leaves. So there's that. So that's fancy free. Is that brush flower? Mm hmm. Feel how soft it is. Ooh. It's like a kitten, it really is. It is really soft and light. Our next one is a, another one of those light sweater knits. It's called Timeless Treasure. And somebody submitted the name Treasure. I just added Timeless to it. But this one, when it came in, Mary Beth and I both went, ooh, it's so, <laughs> it's just so pretty. So the flowers, it's a black background, and the flowers are like in between mauve and purple. They're like a purpley mauve. Um, and let's find it on my list here. It's called Timeless Treasure. Here it is. It's 75% horizontal stretch, 50% vertical. Again, it's that light, super soft sweater knit. And of course, Jet Black Brush Poly goes nicely with it. And the Magenta Brush Poly goes with it really well. And Make sure I'm in the right. Oh, the olive. Yeah. And this is a real simple print. It's three colors. It's yeah. black, magenta, olive. <laughs> that was so dramatic. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> Our next one is called Plum. Let me find it here. This is a solid sweater knit. It's another light sweater knit. This one is brushed for sure because it was part of the description. Isn't it pretty? Now I know when I just held it up, you went, oh, I could see through it. Is it see through? I know I know somebody's going to ask that. So, so see how I have it against me as if I'm wearing a garment out of it? So it's not, you cannot see through it. I'll even put my paper behind it so you can see. So it's not see-through. Just so you know. Okay, so this one is 75% horizontal stretch, 40% vertical stretch. I like it also with my dark jeans because it has a blue, it's like a purple with blue in it. So look at how nice that looks. I can't get my leg up here. <laughs> Doesn't they look cute together? So yeah. This, that doesn't match this feather in I those inner purple. I really don't parts think so, but we can double check. Do these match? What do you guys think? I don't know. That's really hard to say, isn't it? Here, let me hold this up to this. I'm gonna say, well, really when it gets really in dark there? in there, mm, sort of. Don't have to. I don't know. That's a personal preference thing. So, um, this one had no solid coordinates. Remember we used to have that plum 
toothbrush poly mm -hmm. that was the supplier discontinued was so sad. I'll bet that would have matched this. But the thing I love about these light sweater knits, they have gorgeous drape. Look at mm -hmm. the drape on that. Really pretty. So make a real nice. Um, make one of those drapey cowl. Drapey cowl neck, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to be doing something with that. In fact, we're almost up to the fabric for that. So the next one is a solid ponte. And this is uh, a soft, a really soft, heavy ponte. <laughs> it's uh, rayon nylon spandex. So here it is on my list. So this one is called Dark Raisin. It is exactly the same color as Dark Raisin Brush Poly. And I stole some of this. <laughs> but don't worry, it's a nice big wool. It is. We got we got plenty in. And here's the Dark Raisin Brush Poly. I'm gonna make a pencil skirt out of it. I really am. I know I know you're you're all going there, right? Yeah. Right. I am. Because I'm gonna wear it for Thanksgiving. So I better get my butt on it here real soon. Um I was actually thinking about making a top out of this. So <laughs> it'd be like it wouldn't look like a dress. <laughs> It would. But exactly. I found a couple of things that I thought would go nicely. A couple of prints and stuff I thought would go nice with the pencil skirt. Because where am I going to wear a pencil skirt? Yeah. Here. <laughs> with a pair of boots. Yeah. Date night, maybe. I don't know. Um, this one has 75% uh, horizontal stretch and 50% vertical wow. stretch. It would be perfect for cigarette slim type pants also. Um, like... SOS pants, set patterns for pirates. Mm -hmm. Sabrina, Sabrina Slims, Slims, Love Notions. Uh, it would be great for a hoodie or a zippered hoodie jacket type thing. Um, a lot of people like to wear peplums. With that, peplums right? would be great for peplum. Has some structure. There was wiggle a couple dress. other things. Wiggle dress. So it has structure. It's a double knit. Um, but this one, this heavy ponte is super soft. Some of the other heavy pontes are a little bit, um, I don't know how to describe, I wouldn't say stiffer, but that's the, the thing that comes to mind, a little bit more structured. My ears are popping. Oh, that is soft. Mm -hmm. It's just like, what did I say that when we were at Joanne's, they had ponte just like that. What did they call it? Um, refined. Refined? Mm -hmm. So it's if you've ever been to Joann's and touched their refined ponte, that's what that um, that particular ponte feels like. And next I'm going to show you, I'm going to switch it up. I am just crazy over this. I stole some of this too. <laughs> I stole two yards of this. I'm going to make sure I have the nap the right way. Okay. This is stretch velvet, and we're calling it raspberry fling. Come on, how could you not be crazy about this? Look at the color; it's it's unreal. Okay, it makes your mouth water. It does. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Now this might. I'm guessing this is going to go fast. If you are in the market for some ponte or stretch velvet, and you like this stuff. I'm telling you, get it now because I, I've seen stuff like this just fly right off the shelf. Um, this, let's see what I put it with if I had anything that I liked. First of all, that dark raisin ponte I, I just stole to make a pencil skirt to go with this. I don't know that they if they match that great, but I love them together. So, you want to hold them up together so that you see? Sure. Something about them. I just, I think would look nice. Like, see, this is like reddish purple. I don't know. It's like a matte reverse version of it mm -hmm. or something. I just really like it. It'd be really pretty. So here's my plan. I'm going to copy a pencil skirt that I have. I've never done that before. I'm going to make a pattern and make this skirt. And then the plan is to make a um, bat wing boss top, but put a cow, not a cow, the drape a drape neck drape on it. Neckline. I have to make a, a muslin first though mm -hmm. um, to make a little bit of a drape neckline and uh, to wear that with the pencil skirt. That's pretty cute. For Thanksgiving because I like to dress up on the holidays. It's the only time I really dress up. 
Somebody's scared to work with Belle, but tell her it is not hard to work with. Mary Beth says it's not hard to work it with. It is not. Just be sure you mind the nap. Yeah, so um, if you've never worked with Velvet before, make sure that you have the nap all going the same way on your different pieces. And you can feel you can feel the nap. Um, like right now I have it so when I go like this, it's smooth. Now if I turn it, if I go up, it's rough. And some people don't care. Well, yeah, whether, which way they have the nap. You just need to make sure that you have it going the same way because it'll look different colors. It'll look darker one way and lighter the other way. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to find this on my list. So we called this Raspberry Fling. Everybody wants you to post a, a picture of your outfit on Facebook. I know. I, you know, I'm a worst, the worst poser, and I make stuff, and I don't... Um, I don't post it. I don't take my picture and post it. I have a top actually on the mannequin right now that I made. It was the Boss Batwing out of the um, Cheetah Ponty. It's really cute. I just don't like it with my jeans. I don't like the way it looks on me because I, I like it with a skirt. I don't like it with my jeans. Okay, so this is 75% horizontal stretch. 10% vertical, so it doesn't stretch a whole lot vertically. It has a little bit, but not a whole lot, but a lot of nice stretch and recovery horizontal, and it's just beautiful. So anyways, that is the Raspberry Fling Stretch Velvet. Do any of those go together? I think so. Here, let me give you that. So Mary Beth's piling stuff up here to show, because people are asking, so I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so... This is, yeah, I was thinking about making something out of this to go with my skirt. Okay, so this is the um, Mandarin Moon in Burgundy, and here is the Dark Grays in oh, yeah, I Ponte. That together. Get you in closer. Okay, and then this one's a little bit darker. So this is the Fancy Free Brush Poly in burgundy and this is the dark raisin ponte. The it's they look nice together. The dark raisin is just a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't, you don't want to match exactly. No, but it's not a bad thing to match exactly. No. I don't think. Okay, this is the burgundy um ravish and here's the ponte with it. They look really nice together. I'm just checking what's coming up. Can you hear my stomach growling? I'm sorry if you can hear that. Apparently I'm hungry. Okay. Okay, so that is Raspberry Fling. So let's move on to our next one, which is... Okay, so when I did the reorder for French Terry, um, we had magenta in stock, and I've been wanting to get this fuchsia. So instead of ordering more magenta... I ordered fuchsia and then the magenta is almost gone. So anyways, this is a little bit brighter than the magenta, but it's such a fun, pretty so pretty. color. It's so pretty. It's fuchsia, fuchsia French cherry. So um, it's baby French cherry. It's got the little tiny loops. Let's see if I had, if there was anything that I put in here as a coordinate for it. As far as solids go, no, but it's 50% uh, horizontal stretch. 10. Oh, gee, I can't read my notes. Isn't that a surprise? It looks like 50 horizontal, 10 vertical, which is mostly what most of our French Terries are, and they are uh, Poly Rayon Spandex Blend. Very pretty. And our next one is a new colorway of the ribbed knit with the Lurex, and it is mustard. Because I know we have the mustard fans. Like, mustard fans are hardcore mustard fans, don't you think? I, yes. Yeah, I think if you love mustard, you just love everything mustard. And I just realized, I think that's a good color on me. What do you think? Yeah. It you goes, can do it. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty together. Yeah, I'll show them that in just a sec. Okay, so this is 
uh, rib knit. It's six by six. So it's got a nice wide rib. It's got 1% uh, Lurex for sparkle. And it's not the scratchy Lurex that um, was out back in the 80s. Uh, the Lurex is nice and soft now, so you don't have to worry about it being scratchy or uncomfortable. This is the back side of the fabric. And you see how it's really silky smooth, so you know that's real comfortable. And then people have asked, well, when you make bands out of it and you're turning the outside in, is that going to be scratchy when you, you know, when you make your garment out of it? It is not scratchy. It's very soft, very comfortable. So don't be afraid. Um, you know, don't think, oh, I love it, but I just, it just looks un scratchy. It's not. And uh, we've had a lot of uh, group members making items out of it and also saying it's not scratchy. So it's not just me <laughs> trying to get you to buy it. And coordinates for this, um, I think I have just the mustard gold. It's a, you know, a nice complimentary solid coordinate. Um, yep, that's what I have. So this is 75% horizontal stretch, 25% vertical. And we also have in this fabric, um, I think we're down to the end on a few of the colors that we have. I did last last week maybe release uh, burgundy and tinsel. Tinsel is silver. So there's plenty of burgundy, tinsel, and this mustard, and then a couple of the other ones they are getting down. They want you to compare that to the spice drum. The spice oh, drum is yeah. orange. And that's yeah, that's a gold. great idea. Spice rum. Okay, so this is oh the spice rum. Spice rum, not spice orange. rum. Okay, the spice rum is an orange, uh, pumpkin orange, more pumpkin-y color. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking cognac. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting my alcohols confused. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is um, this is definitely gold where the spiced rum is more of a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. It's a dark orange. Dark orange, yeah. Burnt, burnt orange, yeah. So I hope that helps. Okay. Before you do that, do you oh, want yeah. these? Or you want the so someone asked about Fancy Free and the Raspberry Fling Stretch Velvet. Yes, they are beautiful together. They actually look great. And somebody also asked about this, and it does not. Okay. So show them that. So these are really pretty together. And then someone asked if the ravish went well with the raspberry fling, but it, it really doesn't. Well, this would be totally cute with jeans. Oh, yeah. Somebody just said, yeah, yeah the mustard the, yeah, jeans. Yeah. The mustard rib knit, super cute with jeans. I'd put my leg up there again, but um, <laughs> I had a hard time getting you, it down. You exercised enough today. <laughs> I have little gold pieces all over me now. Okay, that's okay. Okay, our next one is um, Royal Blue Nub Jersey. And I keep eating, adding colors. We keep adding colors one at a time. You guys love the Nub Jersey. This is our Poly Linen Blend Jersey fabric. And this color I've been wanting to get in, it is... Um, I love it. It's just the quintessential boy color. Not that girls couldn't wear it too, but I just think of men's t-shirts mm -hmm. in this. Plus, I think it would be great with the charcoal, the nub charcoal, as um, those would make great raglans for guys. Oh, yeah. And girls. I'm not leaving girls out. It's just that this is just where my head goes because I have a lot of guys in my life, <laughs> you know, husband and four boys. So that's kind of what I think about. Also, um, a little idea for Christmas is we do have Hunter, Hunter Green and Deep Red in this nub that are um, be really Christmassy together. Oh, yeah, that makes yeah nice really shirt. cute. So um, the thing about this is it has great horizontal stretch, and I know you're asking, you're going, I see through it, but when I put it down on me, you don't really see through it. Um, so it has. 75% horizontal stretch, and this is how these these nubs are. They have really good horizontal stretch, but then like there's nothing vertically. And this goes, by the way, really great with the royal blue French terry. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, they they really like each other. 
Um, so there's that. I thought those would be cute layered together. <laughs> okay, we have two left. We're down to two. It's only been three hours. <laughs> My stomach is eating itself. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Bullet. It's a double knit. It's just like uh, Liverpool, but the little, um, the yeah, the texture is a little bit different than on a Liverpool. It, this almost looks like inflated pieces of rice or cooked rice, but very uniform and even. So this is a solid red. Uh, it's very soft and it's just like Liverpool. It's it's a double knit just like Liverpool. You can see that. Um, two layers knitted together and which gives it a little bit of structure and I know the camera is going crazy right now. It's really uh, looking bright. But this is not, this is a nice red color. It's just a nice even red. I would say it tends a little bit more toward the orange red, not the blue red. Um, and this is, uh, that's, that just looks really bad there. Maybe that's a little bit better. It's got great drape with a little bit of structure to it. It'd be wonderful for, um, dresses, pencil skirts, pants. What else can you think of? What are you what Jackets? It, jackets. It's, it's light. It's like a cardigan even. It'd make a nice... Yeah, you drapey, do a cardigan. drapey cardigan. Drapey cardigan. So the difference, I, in my opinion, the difference between this and Liverpool is just the shape of the texture on it. And on the website, there's a really good picture. I got a really nice close-up picture of the texture. Some of you want to know if that's the stuff that's stiff, ready to wear um, polos are made out of. I don't think so. I don't know. It could be a thicker um, bullet like a heavier or more I don't I don't know that I've ever seen a polo made out of a fabric like this. That it, it by totally the way reminds me of Liverpool. Yeah. With a oh different, yeah. Just it's, a different pattern. The structure of it is exactly like Liverpool. And I remember um, a while back we had a supplier that had a lot of those solid colors asking them what it was and they said it's Liverpool. It just has a different texture. Okay, our last one. This is a double brushed French terry. And we got black in just to see what it was like. And it feels and looks like fleece. Don't you think, Mom? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say that it's it's thick and heavy and um, it looks looks and feels just like fleece. It's not super stretchy. It's not super fleece. stretchy. It has about a 20% horizontal stretch and vertical, like just, I mean, just the tiniest bit vertically. I think I even have it in as zero, but um, it's really soft, it's really soft and thick and it's feels structured, mm -hmm. a little, little structured. So, you know, keep that in mind. It's, well, what would you make out of this? I think you could make like um, pajama pants. Oh, they would be super cozy. Yeah, pajama pants would be good. Uh, sweatshirt, the pullover yeah. sweatshirt would be super cozy in this. I was thinking of something that would go around my neck and not to keep the back of my neck warm. Yeah. Turtleneck, like a like a Hepburn turtleneck would be really cute in it. It's definitely warm and cozy and soft. I was gonna. I forgot. I my intended to wash some of this up before the oh, reveal, to just to see, like. yeah, if it like what would oh, happen. How cute would that be together? Oh, that would be really yeah. cute together. Somebody wanted to know if those match, so I was going to give you both of them. Okay, so look how cute they these are! Pretty, I think, yes. Oh, yeah, these are cute together. And then someone wanted to know if the bullet and the plaid match. They do. Yeah. Good eye. Yeah, they do. Look, we're all so Christmassy. So let them know that that, that um, brush stuff, it's, it's fleecy on both sides. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's um, fleecy or brushed. It's brushed on both sides. Let me see if I can get a good. 
I love how she has a new coat coming, and that might be perfect. Oh, for that. it would. I saw. Tessa's pictures the other day. That's a really mm -hmm. cute coat. Uh, Love Notions has a new coat coming out. This would be cute for that. Does it breathe at all? I would say probably not. Does it breathe? Well, it's it would breathe just as much as any as the other um, French Terries that we have that are polyrans, the same construction, just a little bit thicker and brushed. Same fabric content. It's almost two o'clock, that's why I'm starving. <laughs> Just notice that. So that's our last fabric. All Alrighty. right. Yeah, but don't forget to comment. We'll have two winners for tomorrow. And don't forget to, you know, keep an eye out next week for this for the blog tour and the contest signups and stuff. If you're not signed up for our emails, go to our website. And there's usually a pop-up that comes up to sign up for emails, which will also put you into a pool for getting um, coupons. But um, if you don't have the pop-up, you just scroll to the bottom of our uh, homepage, and you'll see this little thing that says sign newsletter sign up, and you can just sign up there, and then you'll get our emails uh, with the blog on it, and you'll get our weekly emails too. And if you don't want them, you can always unsubscribe. No penalty for that. Um, and that's let them know it. that these will all go live as soon as you. Oh like yeah. Because you need to eat. Yes, these will all go live within two minutes of um of me going off here. So I'll go do that, and I'll let you know in the group page when everything's live, and um and we will see you in a couple of weeks uh, on the video. We'll be back on December fifth with the new releases. So everybody have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. And a big thank you to all of you for um, being part of our group and our community. And we really enjoy uh, everything you guys bring to us and show us. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. So um, I will see you in a couple of weeks.